included members of the public, civil society, organizations, and some healthy staff. The task force established a number of issues that raise concerns, triggers concerns. One, discrepancies in the number of casuals employed. Whereas the Employment and Labor Relations Court in the ruling of petition number one of 2019 of 13th May 2020 directed that 600, 463 casuals who had filed the case be employed, the County Public Service Board went ahead and hired over 660 casuals an excess of 197 persons over and above those directed by the court order. B, flawed recruitment of village administrators. The task force requested for copies of the minutes of the different stages of the recruitment process of village administrators. None were provided and on the further inquiry, the task force was informed that there were no minutes. Two, the task force identified that 18 village administrators whose names do not appear in the application register, but their names appear in last in each of their respective village, village shortlists and data appointed and deployed. Three, the task force identified two village administrators who were neither in the application register nor shortlist, but they were appointed and deployed. This, the, the, the areas are hospital village in town ward and Malaha village in Madula ward. The task force identified two persons employed who at the date of employment were under age. The qualification age for this position as per advertisement was at least 25 years and above. The two persons were below the age of 25. The two one from Mope village in Mesim ward and Kortin village in Chebu ward. Five, the task was identified 26 persons employed who have very suspicious academic papers that require Kenya National Qualification Authority verification. Six, the task was identified three persons who did not meet the minimum academic requirements for the position of village administrator. Seven, the task force identified such three persons who at the time of employment were 45 years old and above but employed on permanent and pensionable terms. This was contrary to the public service superannuation scheme circular implemented from 1st July 2021, which provides that persons above the age of 45 shall not automatically join the scheme, but can only voluntarily do so. Number eight, the task force identified five persons who presented only photocopies of their certificates with police abstracts, claiming that the certificates were either lost or banned. The five persons should not have been shortlisted in the first place for failure to have original.